Well then, this will be week one, day one, match one, game one, first half of GG versus Wolves. We're finally back here once again in IVL Autumn 2024. Uh, it's going to be two tight turns alongside which of three knee-jerk reflex here, no borrow time on both Gardner and Prisoner Tsung Wai as our hunter here from Wolves with Trunkward Detention alongside with Blink. Let's move on straight towards the first matchup then. Okay, damn, damn, that's such an interesting opening. Um, Maybe we'll be able to see a Leo's Memories story extension soon, hopefully. But aside from that, it seems like it's me to like here, going straight towards PB Xiao, who is playing our Fire Investigator. But we, what we have known between Fire Investigator and Opera is Fire Investigator will always win. And I really haven't seen Fire Investigator here lose at all. So that's going to be Charge Attack here, here alongside the Fire Investigator, a boost out, and of course his own movement speed boost here. I could say sometimes I would think that Fire Investigator is actually better than Merc, but um, there are these odd times where you would say otherwise. But aside from that, PB Shad, that's going to be another air back here. Are we going to drop it in? We don't need to do it just yet. We're going to try to take the movement speed boost straight upstairs here, it seems. And it's not going to be such much, that much of a bad plan. That's the airbag loosened up as well. And that's Fire Investigator without any items to use. But look, the good news is that it's still Fire Investigator here you're talking about. Maybe Fire Investigator isn't better than Merc because Merc has three items. But at least for Fire, he can reuse his airbags. Now, uh, PB Shah is going to be able to reach towards the next pallet, but it seems like no, 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 the back, the back to back once again. And of course, that being a slow vault down, uh, kind of did hurt a little bit, I won't lie, because PB Shah was crouching. Well, he was crawling, crouching, crawling, crouching, crawling, crouching. But aside from that, let's see here. Kutau's life machine currently done. Mm, it's it's not that much cipher machines, I won't lie. It really isn't that much cipher machines. But for my elimination rate here, it's currently on 27%. So with two and a half cipher done here, as long as we can perform a before half rescue, it should still be a tie. Now, having no items here on Fire Investigator, it's what makes him bad. I, I do think a lot of people don't want to use him in rankings because he can't pick up items. So for now, that's a chair hit. Uh, chair hit mm, doesn't change much. You know what? No, it doesn't change much. Why? Because you're still missing two full ciphers and it seems like tossing here, that's a needle here on Gardner. But it seems like we want Gardner to come to rescue here, it seems. It's not a bad choice with Gardner having an extra tight turner, but I don't know if you really want to use it now. You could potentially use the Gardner's tight turner for endgame alongside with a shield, uh, is what I recommend, but I guess if she gets chased immediately next, that's just a whole nother issue. At least we can maintain our full health. At least we can maintain our full health. Uh, but we're still missing one full cipher here from Prisoner. Mm, quotes how we are not on board. It seems like someone wanted to force him on board actually. But I don't think he'll get on unless you've actually vault over that window. So for our so for our gardener here, that's gonna be a shield up immediately. And we're just gonna slowly make our way in five seconds here. Should be enough for a no damage rescue. And I don't think body blocking is necessary here. Seems like for GG right now, they're gonna be mainly focusing on a tie. Uh but for Tomai, he does have teleport though. So we could potentially still teleport out. We could still potentially teleport out. Uh, what matters right now is how. How, how we can get the next one down fast because if you want to chase after a prisoner could potentially say you can target a prisoner down but he does still have electrocution even after like you know his second chair so with those re regen times um, on the items for all survivors right now they have really nothing to worry about seems like we want to go after gardener here who i think we probably think that, think that gardener doesn't really have bar time i mean it's because we have tied so does kind of make sense but from the hunter's point of view right now it depends on how fast you can actually get this girl then that's gonna be me to hit here without any bubble charge up sadly and uh might be a three-man elimination if we play this well because we still do have a uh, teleport still do have trump card here to use maybe even for warp later on but that's gonna be a drop down that's gonna be the shield up and five seconds this five seconds should be more than enough here but there is a dungeon nearby uh, but Halsey might not be able to use any other bubble maybe 30 seconds later in towards the game. Uh, we're down. We're down and the exit gate has been popped. Okay. It's just that no one's at the exit gate right now. Mm, Wildling at the Christmas tree gate. No, he's running straight towards the shack. 
and it seems like Prisoner may be going towards Stash Gate soon. But I feel like for our uprising, we could just go out and see where the survivors are, because it's just, it's especially with the fact that it's you know corner slice from machine there near moon cage that has been decoded which isn't the closest but here we can see wiling on board we just don't see him yet if we turn back this way we are we're not going to be able to see on him but so it seems like it's going to be a guaranteed tie game here so my guarantee and tie here wasn't bad right for our joker main guarantee and tie isn't bad we are out that's an electrocution let's graduate the tie game here from both sides moving on 171 bpm by the way that's scary Ooh la la, the king perfumer, perfumer composer, which cheerleader on a map like this. This is going to be pretty interesting to see, but that's going to be Wolves versus GG here on week one, day one match on game one, second half. And uh, I don't even know how to do introductions anymore, but enjoy the matchup. Well, uh, I typically don't enjoy four people watching me waking up, but um, I guess it is what it is for GK. Our first chase here would be Jelly on Composer. Jelly is finally back from his hiatus. I mean, he did have a wrist injury very similar to Iron, so it's not nice to see you know both teams back. It's nice to see both both teams and both um players back. Uh, but for now, Jelly is going to be the one one of the main pillars here for Wolves. Depending on this game, if they can't beat GG, I do think it means quite a lot. But I but it's still pretty hard. Your round one is up against GG, who or IVL champions. Right, so I mean right now the decoding progress is really fast. Jelly here, that's gonna be a shadow dance back, and we do have tuning here to use, but it's just that tuning might be a little bit harder to use here against um opera singer since she could catch up to you really fast, and that's a charge tax uh hitch alongside with a speed boost there from the dash. So right now, Jelly trying to rotate out of this area. We do have ninja reflex for the windows, but I don't think we're gonna be able to make it here at all now. There might be flywheel, but this flywheel is gonna be able to bring us both down and it seems like we did use a little bit early that's fine that's fine it's a little bit harder here to predict the opera singer at the end of the day so there's nothing that jelly can do but knowing that it's ninja reflex and fly with xmx coming to rescue he wasn't the best rescuer last season for ivl summer but hopefully it'll be a little bit more different this time because like the thing is, I have a little bit more expectations for XMX. I know he's a new player, but like when he joined for Koa, he performed really well. So I guess I, my expectation is a little bit higher than usual. Uh, but for right now, XMX, that's going to be a charge attack. It's a blink down from Salem. The rescue will be denied. Well, yeah, well, it won't be denied, but it's going to be a double down. But wow, at least it's not a before half rescue here, thankfully. But even so, even so, even so, this is why Opera Singer is so strong. She's just so fast. Shadow Strike, and there goes down the composer. And that's what we need to see here from rank one hunter in IVL. He's not, well, he is still rank one in the world, actually. GG1 Koa 7, but wow. That is brilliant from Salem's side. That is honestly scary. Um, we're going to be able to see First Officer here being fully healed up. We do know that DK is decoding the Cypher machine. Meanwhile, First Officer is currently being healed. So we're trying to see where the tonight this is coming from. But it seems like XMX and 47 here might just be found a little bit earlier than usual. We're going to Shadow Dance back even. Oh no, never mind. The Shadow Bank Dance didn't really go that far back. Um, but that's it on XMX. And right now we might just be able to see First Officer down soon. No, we're not. We just want to get near the chair. Oh, we just want to get near the chair. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. First officer, no items left. This is really bad. And boom, down you go. One full cipher remaining. Cheerleader and perfume. We need to decode a cipher machine each. But the moment you chair the first officer here, it just means that cheerleader needs to let go. Because if she doesn't let go fast enough, then it's going to be Opera Singer. That's a Ferrari here. We've talked about her last season as well. Well, not last season, but like um last series. In IVL Autumn. Oh, that's a hit. Yeah, that's what we say when... Uh, that's what we meant when we say cheerleader isn't the best option against Opera. Uh, we're dead. We're dead. That's a 3k. Okay, that's a 3k. 
Okay, that's a tree case. Perfumer wants to make her way in here as well, but I feel like I feel like if Sam actually just chairs um cheerleader, it's also fine. Uh, but it, but he wants a format, I guess. If he wants a format, that's understandable. But if it was rank, I would have just shared. I wouldn't care. If it was rank, I wouldn't have cared. I mean, I mean, there's still three full cipher machines remaining, so that's also another point too. Now then, perfumer. Um, how are we gonna get towards this area? We don't have flywheel. So, ooh, that's Perfumer out. That's fine. That's fine. We we could potentially hit Perfumer here. Yeah, just so the Perfume bottle just disappears. Well, that's 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 a fail, Perfumer. Well, that's not a fail, Perfumer, but... hey, that's a hit right over Palish. Okay. Okay, GG. That's a very strong game one. That's a very, very, very strong game one. Typically, game ones and game twos are more hunter-sided. Um... But I, I do think our team comp was the biggest issue here. Wolves probably want to test a lot of stuff out with this team comp. Mm, but I do feel like when it comes to against Opera Singer, even for Church, unless you're upstairs, it's hard to play around. I could understand Jelly's rotation up towards the stairs and back down with tuning. Uh, but but it's just a bit hard. It's still just a bit hard for a character. Ooh, nice palace for a character like that. Maybe if it was Lawyer, it would have been a little bit more different because you can see through walls. But Composer, even with Speed Boost, a little bit harder. Still just a little bit harder here. Perfume, my last Perfume bottle will be used. We're going to try to charge attack it back, but D-King's just running straight towards next Palish. And it seems like that's going to be a beautiful Palish stun there. As for A7, did get a Needle. But um, it's a cheerleader who can regenerate her pom-poms. So... So with the Cherry Blossoms on cheerleader's hands, I think it's... It's not going to be worth it. It's not going to be worth it. Um... Well, I mean, we do have Dungeon, which is good news. Uh, but Perfumer, we're just trying to stall for a little bit longer. No Cypher Machines are currently shaking. 47 is currently on the other side of the map. We might just speed this up then a little bit if that's the case. We might just speed this up then a little bit if that's the case. I will speed that up by two. Because now it's just a game of hide and seek. Now it's really just a game of hide and seek. The team comp wasn't bad. I could understand Composer since he done he's done really well on this map, but maybe rotate out towards these two pallets outside of outside of factory might have not been bad too. And now we're gonna be able to find Perfumer. There is Tinnitus, it's just that can we see her or not? I mean it's opera at the end of the day, so this should be relatively fast. We do see cheerleader right now. Not Perfumer, supposed to be Chillier that we're talking about, what was I saying? She did have a Needle, that's a beautiful pilot stone, but she did have a Needle, it's just that the Needle will be rendered useless because this is Cherry at the end of the... Okay, still missed, damn. Damn for it, damn. Well, I mean, it's 47 for you, I guess, at the end of the day, and that's a hit down. D-King has crawled so far out, we're just not gonna heal. Wow. We've actually crawled so far out. Um, I think we're going to be able to find, yeah, we're going to be able to find D-King right here. Yeah, that's going to be a formal mission. Now let's move on straight towards the second half.